Hello everybody. I'm back. I know it's been quite a while since I've posted anything, but you know, times being the way they are. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Everybody's family's doing well. And uh, we got the holidays coming up. Not quite sure how that's going to play out with all this, you know, pandemic stuff going on and lockdowns and whatnot and so forth. But anyway, as you can see, I've got a new project. This was actually a birthday gift from my, my daughter. And, I, you know, it's been a long time since I've done, you know, a classic hot rod. So we're going to go old school on this one. Uh, as you can see, 67 Shelby GT350. Haven't uh, decided what I'm going to paint it yet, but... Luckily enough, they modeled the whole thing in white. I mean, literally, aside from the, you know, the chrome parts, obviously. But, uh, yeah, so got all the got all the parts washed up. I'm just going to throw some primer on it and, you know, and go from there. But, I mean, it's, it's pretty much a, a blank palette, everything being modeled in white and all. So there's going to be a lot of painting, a lot of painting. Haven't quite decided what color I'm going to paint it yet. I've got some ideas. Um, I've I've gone done some research and looked at some, you know, pictures of the of the of this car, and you know I'm going to go old school with it. Pretty much just the way the kid is, you know. Might, might you know do little things here and there, but yeah, it's just gonna be a basic build. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of painting. I'm gonna primer everything up and go from there. But uh, it should be fun. Like I said, I haven't done I haven't done a, a classic hot rod model, and man, I can't even remember really. I mean kind of gone back to my roots as far as that goes but uh yeah i'm looking forward to it so yeah i'll be posting some more videos as i go along um i don't know if this is gonna be a real quick build or not because you know with work ramping up and for the holidays and whatnot i don't know how much time i'm gonna have to actually tinker with it i mean it's not a complicated model by any means it's just like i said there's a a lot of painting lots of painting so and deciding what I'm gonna paint things um, the interior I don't know all the pictures I've seen of this car you know it's the the, the interior on most of these was just black just black 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 on black on black um, and I guess that's kind of what the interior... And it didn't matter what color the outside of the car. I mean, they, these cars came in several different colors, you know, back in the day. Um, but uh, it looks like the interior is just going to be, you know, is mostly black. So I'm still still deciding on that one myself. But, uh, you know, I'm going to try to go with classic, you know, blue engine, you know, Ford blue engine block and... You know, like I said, it's just your basic AMT, you know, car model. We've all done them in our past as kids and, you know, adults, I, I, I would imagine. But, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to get this one primered up, get all the parts primered up, get ready for, for paint. Like I said, I'm still deciding what I'm going to paint it, what color. But like I said, you know, being that they modeled everything in white, that doesn't, uh, there's uh, endless possibilities. So we'll see. Um, I got some other kits, got some other things coming in the future. I, I ordered a, uh, I don't know how many sci-fi fan, how many of you are sci-fi fans like I am, but if you remember back the uh, Firefly TV show um, with Nathan Fillion and, and the casts and 
and in the movie i've got i've got the tv it was only it was only a one season show and they really really tried to get you know the fans and the and the uh the actors and actresses were trying to get a second season um i think there was a compromise at some point and they ended up making a movie which is aptly entitled serenity just a little fyi anyway and i found a guy on ebay that that uh, um sells the model of the ship um it's a resin model and uh resin kits i think in a lot of ways resin kits are a little more detailed you know and this guy does a resin model kit of the serenity which i ordered i'm not going to get it for a little while because he does them they're 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 one of a kind and he does them as they're ordered so he's got to you know basically mold the kit it's pretty cool and i'm hoping uh i'm hoping it it turns out so that's 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 another kit that i've got you know another thing i've got coming on in the future because it's one of those that you're not going to find you know widely you know by mobius or or any of the other those you know model companies it's not a kit that you're going to find. I mean, you're not going to find a actual model kit, you know, like this per se. But I did find, like I said, I did find a guy that does, he does a resin, he resin molds them. And uh, they're pretty detailed from the pictures I saw on his website. So we'll see how that works out. I'm, I'm kind of excited because it'll be, like I said, it's, it's not a model that you're going to be able to find mass produced. So... I like one of the. I like doing things that, uh, you know, that not everybody's going to do. So anyway, as I ramble, um, I hope everything's going good for everybody. Um, I'm glad I've gotten a bunch of new subscribers, and that that really makes me happy. But like I said, I don't. I don't necessarily do this for, you know, for subscribers to to to, take, to gain more subscribers. I should say. I just do these things to, again, like I said before, just if I do something, maybe it gives somebody an idea, they're going to do it different, you know. I've said it a million times, but I do appreciate the people that, that subscribe, and I do get comments occasionally, and I've, I've you know, corresponded with a few people on some, some past projects on answered questions and, you know, and people give me feedback most of it's pretty positive which i do appreciate i don't i don't like you know people that get on and and just you know knock everything you do i'm not doing anything you know i don't make money off of any of this i just do it for fun i do it for relaxation you know um, i do things i like to tinker with stuff and you know, you give me some feedback. Hey, maybe you should try this or maybe you should try that. Or, you know, I think you should have did it this way or that way. I'm not going to be mad about it. As long as it's, you know, decent feedback. Don't come on and just, you know, rag on me. and Oh, this is horrible. You did a terrible job. Why do you even bother? Blah, blah, blah. You know how people are. They get behind computer screens and they're, they're bored. So they figure, well, I'm just going to go mess with this guy or this person and, and just, you know, give them a hard time. That's not why I do it. I just do it for fun. I post these things just, again, just for fun. You know, maybe somebody's been thinking about doing some, you know, some old school models, and uh, who knows? But I'm going, I'm going to mess with this, and I'm going to post this. And if you like it, great. If if you don't, that's fine. You know, it's all good. So uh, stay tuned for more installments. Thank you.